sorry, I just, I just like the sea and rocks and nature. Hi, hello and welcome. This is Charlie Ari and this is my seaside haul because I'm a big nerd. <laughs> so obviously there's the idea of a haul of things that you buy as a consumer and that's fun and everything but I decided to show off my rocks. <laughs> So um, at one point last year I decided to go to the beach and pick up some rocks and see what I could find. Uh, I live near the north east coast of England and yes it's been really fun doing that especially back during lockdown like last year it was just really something to look forward to. Um, just a reason to go to the beach and immerse myself in nature and yes it make, made me very happy so I kept doing it and I went the other day and I thought I would share some of the things that I got with you. You won't see the full glory of it so there was loads of driftwood on the beach and I mean loads. Way more than I am showing you in this video. Um, but yes, people had literally built like mini tiki's basically, like mini shelters out of the driftwood there. It was super duper exciting. So instead of picking up any like huge pieces of exciting driftwood, I decided to get two sticks and I'm very happy and I felt very at home picking around the beach with my little stick. I think I might um, try and sort of fix the ends of these and make them wand-ish maybe decorate them um but try and use all natural materials at the same time so i might like wax them or do something to help them stay nice but as i said they're driftwood and they've kind of been preserved by the sea so not much work has to be done but i really like them they're just very nice to hold and touch and prop things with Yay! Now we'll get onto the rocks. I am not a actual rock hound. A rock hound is the word for someone that actually goes to the beach and seriously looks for cool rocks and fossils and stuff like that. Um, maybe I am like a baby rock hound because I did not have that much knowledge about rocks. If you do, if you just happen to be here and you have some knowledge, um, please tell me about the rocks that I have. Um, I'm making guesses at some of them and yeah most of them are just things that I think are pretty or interesting or might have something cool inside. I'll show you the ones that I got the other day and then I'm gonna show you some other ones that I've picked up over the past year or so uh, since living in the northeast. I may have put the rocks on a pillow because I'm adorable. This is the first one I got from the other day. I think it just has this lovely like ombre <laughs> effect. I will get it right close up to you so you can see. I think this is some kind of maybe volcanic-ish, bit granite-ish. It's got these little bits and bobs in it. I just think it looks really quite nice. It's got this little black hat on. I like this. This is very nice. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be the whole video you being like well, this is very nice. One thing I'm gonna do with these rocks is show you what they look like when they have been dipped in water because some of them their colours really shine when they have been covered in water so. See this one I actually feel like it looks a bit better when it's dry actually. It almost has dulled the colours to, to wet it. Uh, this is the next one. So this one's just really beautiful. I think it looks like a planet. Like Mars or something. I don't know. What planet do you think this looks like? And yeah, just brings out some of the deeper colours while it's wet. Oh, it's absolutely soaked up that moisture as well, which makes you wonder the kind of rock it is. I think it might be kind of, um, maybe a touch maybe pumicey i'm not sure there are some coming up later that look kind of pumicey to me now this this is probably quite exciting for some people um i found loads of quartz 
on the beach um, and quartz-ish stuff. This one isn't the best one. It's white. It's very cloudy, very like imperfect. Um, I'd be curious what this looks like polished up um, with a Dremel. Um, you can get rock tumblers to polish these as well but I think I would prefer to just use a Dremel and choose what it looks like at the end rather than having those sort of tumbled irregular looking ones that you usually get. I basically, when I move, um, I'm gonna try and get a Dremel and maybe work with some of the more um, quartzy rocks and try and make them even prettier than they are. This is just a pleasingly shaped rounded stone, so it's like a paperweight basically. I, I like it, I definitely do. I think it's just some sort of granity mix of rock, not granite itself, but uh, one of these mixed speckly rocks. I know there is a word for it. it. Doesn't look much more impressive while it's wet, it looks pretty much the same. Now here are some of the older rocks I picked up. I know there are a lot of rocks here, I do put them back so I make sure not to clean them with anything but water and then sometimes I'll just take some back because obviously I'm not going to keep all of these. Um, uh, yeah, so just so you know, I'm not just stealing all of the sea's rocks, um, I'm, I'm trying to be mindful about it. Here is just a cool triangular one with this different colour base. I just enjoy this, it just looks good. Some of these would just be like, just look like paperweights, they look like they're just made for it. Part of me wants to polish this up a bit and just make it more of a perfect triangle, but I also do just like this shape. Let me know what you think. This really brings out the colour difference in being wet. I quite like that. It's good. It is a good rock. Ooh. So this just excites me because, I don't know if you can see this seam going around it, but to me that totally looks like some kind of geode some kind of something and I just want to know what's inside but I'm a bit afraid to open it but there has to be something if you have any idea what this could hold please tell me oh my god I, it just like yeah I want to know its contents so this I really wish I could shine a light through these and show you what they look like if you get a small light underneath them you can really see how like quartzy gemstone -y they are uh, so this is a piece of quartz, it's quite imperfect, but it's quite big and yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I was just really surprised to find stuff like quartz on the on the beach. I think there's some uh, citrine here as well, there's two bits here, some citrine. And yeah, I just think it's really cool that we can find these kind of gemstones on like our local beaches. Um, because I don't really like the idea of buying gemstones sometimes. I know that I have like gold and tin and all sorts of stuff in my phone, but if I'm choosing to have something that is just for its beauty, I would prefer to just get it from nature myself rather than questioning whether this was gotten through some really dodgy labour where people aren't paid enough. Um, yeah, I have some opinions. I'll put an article below that I read about this. Um, but yeah, I think we need to sort out how we mine things <laughs> in this world um, and give people better rights when it comes to work. Just in general, just in general, mate. This is another big bit of quartz. It looks really cloudy, but it's actually, when you shine a light through it, it's kind of pinkish which I'm curious about. That might just be a little um, iron, I'm gonna say, deposits, like tiny little deposits um, in it, making it that colour. We would like to polish that one up and see what it looks like once it's polished. Now this one I'm really excited about. <laughs> I love it. Uh, my partner picked this one up and it's definitely volcanic. So it has all of these colours in. And I believe it really, really shines when it's put in water. Yeah, I think that just really shows it off. It's got these purples and blues and reds and teals. 
this is a really beautiful piece of volcanic rock here absolutely lovely i mean this is by my standards i am not a rock hound i do not know anything about rocks but i just think that's really really gorgeous now this one i don't know it kind of looks nice but it doesn't look like much uh but i think once it's wet it just brings out these darker colors really nicely it looks quite marbled i'd be tempted to say it's like moss argate but it's probably a kind of um marble maybe um but yeah very beautiful would love to polish this one up i think this one would look really really lovely when polished now here we have it's not actually a wish stone because of its imperfectness but it makes me think of wish stones and i like that so a wish stone is when you have a stone like this with a single unbroken band going all the way around and there are all sorts of ways to do it and spin around etc etc and then you throw it back into the water while making a wish and that's how you use a wish stone um so i keep this one just because i like it um but yeah if you find a wish stone either use it or um i've sent one to a friend before and yeah i just think they're lovely um it's just such a nice little bit of folklore really here we have a fossil of some little tiny creatures i don't know what they are but they're little tiny creatures once or little tiny plants but you can quite easily find these sorts of fossils on your beach i think this is really good fun um it's just a great pastime i think to just go to your local beach gives it slightly different dimensions when wet yeah I think it looks very nice. Maybe it's more characteristic of the northeast, but yeah, you can definitely find these on the beach quite easily. So I guess that's a really good activity to do if you have kids. Just take them to the beach and go rock hounding. Um, I've been really, really like, I guess, privileged to be able to be near the coast at a time like this, uh, to have access to nature in this way. It's just been such a yeah such a real gift because before i was in a, a small city that only had a couple of like parks and fields um and i think i would have really struggled um otherwise really uh without this nature being so accessible to me and so close by um so yeah i'm just glad <laughs> um this next one is really veiny it's got this lovely red going on no idea what it is but i love it whatever this red is nice nice rock this isn't quite an ugly rock really you see but what's inside it is what i'm interested in because this little chip here if you can see it has this kind of caramel color and when you shine a light through from this side you can see this caramel color coming out i would love to show you this on video maybe one day if i'm better on camera and i have more skills i can show you this kind of thing but yeah just really like that this is the last rock today it's like a put my fingerprints all over it now but it's this kind of pumicey it's like a mauve purple kind of color it's really nice and yeah I think when it gets wet, you just see this really nice colour. I bet I'm going to wish that I have a better camera for this because, yeah, I just want to show off these and all their glory. And it's just a nice little eggy shape. It's a thin eggy shape. So, I have another rock now. I found it on the beach and it was just staring at me and I didn't need to pick it up. It was just there and it looks so perfect. So, now, now I have another rock. Uh, back to the video been quite nice quite chill just showing you some rocks um let me know if you like this kind of footage of me just doing random shit goodbye have a nice day um yes enjoy your lives go look at some rocks see if that makes you feel happy like it makes me happy um yeah i'll see you soon